Please. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, tax fraud is the business of the EU because fraudsters make use of cross-border loopholes, and that's what we are trying to close. As the Commissioner says, the savings tax issues are complex. I think it's possible for us to reach agreement through our voting that we do not preempt too much the more detailed uh, discussions that we're going to have to have on that topic when, when the Commission comes out with their further proposals. And likewise, I think that we can also avoid reference to tax competition where we are divided, but which is not core to this report. And therefore, I think we can achieve some harmony amongst ourselves. On all these fronts, colleagues and Commissioner, though I don't think that inaction or tentative action is an adequate response. 2.5% of GDP is what's at stake. That's a huge chunk of the tax base. As our colleague Mr. Sanchez Prezado points out, that is possibly 5% of tax. If any politician here or in any member state campaigned on the basis of putting up tax by 5% to pay for nothing, they would not get very far. So, and I say to member states in particular, getting prickly about exchange of information, doing the minimum, being fearful, is just the same as taxing 5% for nothing, for that's what it costs the honest taxpayer. And that's the message that I wish to send in this report, and I believe that it's the collective message that this Parliament wishes to send in this report, supporting the Commissioner in his efforts and urging him to be bold. Thank you.